it's such a politically charged environment and we've already seen what can happen. So top of the mind for everyone today is security. It's something authorities have been ramping up since the attack on the Capitol from violent Trump supporters back on January the 6th. Indiana sent hundreds of National Guard troops to D.C. for support. Fox 59's Eric Pointer spoke to the Indiana commander there in D.C. Joins us now live from our newsroom. Eric, what did he say they've been doing to try to make sure everyone is safe? So he told me they've been helping the D.C. National Guard doing things like crowd and traffic control at the National Mall near the White House. Lieutenant Colonel Barry Johnson says he doesn't think what we saw at the Capitol will impact what they will see today at the inauguration because things so far have been peaceful. He's in charge of a task force of about 640 troops from Indiana who arrived over the weekend. The environment here right now is very calm in, in my particular area of operations, uh, which is not far from the White House and, and not far part of the National Mall, actually. Uh, so our environment's very calm and, and we haven't seen anything uh, that concerns us at this point. I also spoke to a former FBI special agent who worked in D.C. He says at this point, everyone is pulling out all the stops, trying to be as prepared as possible. Just trying to be, like you said, over prepared. And I think a show of force with the National Guardsmen, the state police, any other law enforcement that's there will act as a deterrent as well as uh, a force equipped to deal with something that might happen. The FBI has even gone as far as to vet National Guard troops responding to D.C. At least a dozen have been removed from the presidential inauguration security for having ties to right wing militia groups. Now, the two security experts that I spoke with told me the goal of today is to have a safe transition of power without any incident. Back to you in the studio, Scott.